Hello, so I've got a quick one for you today to look at Pro Tools and using track presets. There's a bunch of people out there who are not using them at the moment and um, I find them really, really useful. So I just wanted to run through it and just show you a little bit of how they work and where and why I think you should be using them too. So why do we want to use track presets? Well, it speeds up your workflow. It allows you to save the, the chains like a plug-in train that you might use regularly, like a, a bass guitar or kick drum or vocal even. Um, and it allows you to use chains from other sessions as well. So anytime you save these presets, it saves into the Pro Tools hierarchy. So it means that any session that you're in, it's, it's, you know, it's not exclusive to this specific session that you're in you can load it up and you can recall those presets whenever you like. So let's just dive right in and I'll just show you how to create them and how to recall them. So for example, we've got a bass guitar here. As you can see, I've got a whole heap of plugins on there doing lots and lots of fun things. And we wanna, firstly we wanna save that because maybe we wanna use that same one that same chain in another session. So we're doing a mix or something and we wanna keep the consistency with that bass guitar, which is just sounding absolutely fantastic. Then we can just bring that into another session. So all you need to do, and there are many ways of doing it actually, but we'll just go with the way that I use, which is you right click and we've got save track preset over here. Okay, that'll bring up this little dialog and it'll ask you what you wanna call it, where you wanna save it. So it will usually just be set to Avid. That's where it usually begins. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just start with that to begin with, so bass guitar one. Now, if we create a new track, so let's, for example, imagine we've gone into a new session now, okay? This is a totally different session. We can go right click, we can go to recall track preset, and then under Avid, there it's gonna be, okay? Bass guitar one, let's click that. And all of those same plugins and sends and the, the track color and basically everything, that all gets saved and recalled as quickly as that. Okay, let's call that bass guitar too. Now that's a very quick way of doing it and generally that's what you're gonna do. If you wanna dive a little bit deeper, you can choose what it's going to be saving. So when we do save track preset, if you go over to this section here, track data to recall, you can choose, you can, deselect a bunch of these things and then it won't save it won't save all of that with it you know maybe we don't want we don't want all of these plugins and and settings and all of that that's totally cool we can deselect that and now when we load that up we're going to load up bass guitar 2 there it is it's brought everything else that we chose, like it's got the sends in there, but it doesn't have all of the plugins. So you might want to just save its state. You might want to just save that it's an audio track and it's going out to different places, especially if you've got like a headphone mix or something that you only want to be sending it out to certain headphone mixes, then it's just, it's not going to save any plugins. It's just going to do that. Nice. Now the next part is about organizing that folder, because especially if you're doing lots of different mixes with lots of different bands or artists and you want to try and categorize them, it can get a little bit messy having everything in the same folder. So let's go back to this bass guitar too. We're gonna save the track preset and over here it's currently going into the Avid category, no problem. However, let's create a new one if we go add category and now this is gonna nest that folder underneath Avid. So we're just gonna call this bass guitar presets. There we go. And now when I go to recall this, Avid, and we've got this additional folder, bass guitar presets. So this will be set for all the, all the different bass guitar presets that I might save that might be useful in other sessions. So there we go, we've got that saved there. But what if we wanna take it a little bit further and have totally different folders per artist, per client, per band, whatever you, whoever you're working with, as you can see here, when I go to recall track preset, I've got some different bands or different artists that I've worked with, and then I've saved their specific settings in there. So the way to do that is actually very, very easy. Go up to window, go to your workspace, we go to default, and then over on the left here, you've got track presets. If we just do this little arrow so we can collapse that, these are all like my track presets. So as you can see, we've got Avid, which is where all of the main ones were. And that's where I also had my bass guitar presets, as you can see. But if I wanna create a completely new folder, it's very easy to do. Just go back to the top, back to the hierarchy here of track presets, right click in the workspace and you've got new folder. We're gonna call this test. Okay, so now that will appear on the left there. And for example, we might have been just saving all of these presets 
in the Avid one as we were going along and we want to move that into a different folder. Well, it's easy to do. Let's move these presets. Let's move these basic guitar ones into test like so. Now that's appeared or some of the actual specific presets that you've just saved in Avid. Let's move that over here. Okay, and then there we go. So now when I go to recall a preset, we've got this new folder called test and we've got the different presets that I just dragged over. And because I created another folder within a folder, you can continue that hierarchy as you go along. And doing that just helps to keep things that little bit tidier and more specific to the session or specific to the artist. So it's much easier to navigate. So there you go. That's just um, a few ideas, a few ways you can use track presets in Pro Tools. I hope that's been useful. Um, if you've got any questions, give me a shout in the comments below. Um, and if, if you've always also got other places that you can use track presets that you think I'm not using them in at the moment, then hit me up and we can maybe expand on that video and talk a little bit more about it. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.